heard it described as an archaeological variety, and it's the grape that uh, is grown in Campania, and most famous is making a wine called Tarasi, which is a district there, and also making uh, another common wine you see from that area is Alianico de Vulture. And it's one of the great ancient grape varieties. They believe that the ancient Romans wrote about it and described the vine well enough that they know it's Alianico. And uh, it's, uh, it's just, in many ways, it's a very interesting grape. It's the latest ripening wine grape that I know of. And we normally pick it at our location, which is up in the hottest part of the Paso Appalachian. We don't pick it until the uh, first week of November on a normal year. And we picked it as late as the, towards the end of November, and that's uh, it's got a very requires a very long growing season. It's on a different schedule than other grape varieties. And for example, this week I'm probably going to start thinking about harvesting Zinfandel, and our Alianico hasn't even changed color yet. So it's it's really uh, um, just a slow moving, low vigor vine, and the wine is very distinctive. Um, it's, it's an interesting wine. I think it's actually kind of a versatile wine in that uh, it's, it's, in some ways it's a lighter wine than a Cabernet or Merlot. Uh, it has a fair amount of tannin in it. That's just one of the characteristics of the variety. And so um, I think it's a, a versatile grape in that it's, you can use it with heavier or lighter food and it matches very well. And of course it's fantastic with the, the, uh, with the Naples cuisine. Mm -hmm.